In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize Windows 10 or Windows 11 for games. So let's get started. <laughs> Before we do any changes to our computer, we have to make sure that we create a system restore point so that in case something goes wrong on your computer and you want to undo all the changes made to your computer, you can just directly restore and undo all the changes. So open up your search menu and type in create a restore point. Hit enter and in this window right here, go ahead and click on configure. And over here you can just set it to whatever size you want. You can increase it if you want, let me set it to 2% and go ahead and click on apply and then click on OK and then go ahead and click on create now you just give it any name you want let me type in take me back in time and then click on create and just wait for it to create a restore point once it's created the restore point go ahead and click on OK now go ahead and click on OK alright so now that we're done with that we're going to be starting off today's optimization from settings go ahead and open up your start menu and click on the gear icon over here that says settings once settings has fired up go ahead and click on the system tab and then the notifications and actions tab now you can just toggle all of these off by just clicking on the toggle option over here let me toggle this off as well and then open up the focus assist tab and over here set this to off and toggle all of these off next open up the tab that says multitasking and just turn off this button to turn all of them off now in shared experiences turn all of the options over here off but if you really use another device and if this feature is something you always use in which you share files and other stuff to your phones or tablets you might have to keep this on but if you don't do that you can just keep them off and then finally open up remote desktop and turn this off as well leave it at off if it is at off just in case you do use remote desktop then you might have to keep this on now click on the arrow icon over here and now we're going to be going to the personalization settings. Open up personalization and then in the background tab, click on the drop down menu under background and select solid color. And then select any color you want. For the best performance, choose a black color. But if you don't like the look of it, you can set it to any color you want. I think that looks perfect. If I minimize my window here, as you can see, my background has changed. And I think it looks fine. Go back to settings and then go ahead and click on colors. Now over here, you can just play around with all of these settings. But the main thing that you need to turn off is this option that says transparency effects. Just toggle it off. Again, click on the arrow icon. And this time, open up the apps tab. Now from here, you can just uninstall any application that you don't want on your computer. For example, I got free cam right here. Because I do not use it, you can just uninstall it from here. Just like that, you can find any other software that you don't like and uninstall them one by one. Go ahead and click on the tab that says Offline Maps. Now here, just turn off anything that is set to on, like this map update. Let me just turn it off. And over here, click on Delete All Maps and click on Delete All. And then open up Apps for Websites and turn all of these off if you don't want. Click on the arrow icon once again. And go ahead and open up the Gaming tab right here. And over here, turn off game bar if you don't use it. And then open up the captures tab. And you can just turn all of these off if you don't use them. And over here, you can just toggle all of these off if you do not screen record your games using Xbox Game Bar's capture feature. Open up the game board tab. And over here, toggle this off as well. And then once you're done with that, click on the arrow icon once again. And now open up the privacy settings tab. And over here, turn off all the options under general by just toggling them off. And then open up the diagnostics and feedback tab and turn all of these off as well. And then open up the locations tab and turn all of these off as well. Right after that, open up the camera tab and turn all of these off as well. If you use your camera for zoom or for streaming purposes, make sure you turn this on because Windows might block any app from using your camera. And then once you're done with that, scroll all the way to the bottom until you find background apps just open it up and make sure this is set to off as well if it's set to on just toggle it off now that we're done with that go ahead and close down settings and then open up your search bar and type in appearance and personalization over here as you can see here it says adjust the appearance and performance of windows open it up and over here select the option that says adjust for best performance and then go ahead and select custom once again and then check the following boxes smooth edges of screen fonts show thumbnails instead of icons and show windows contents while dragging you just go through all of them and check the ones that you want and uncheck the ones that you don't want for me only these three are the ones that are important for me so i'm gonna leave them checked and just go ahead and click on apply 
Now open up the advanced tab within performance options, within the performance options window and make sure you've set the adjust for best performance off to programs and not to background services. And over here click on change over here under virtual memory and uncheck the box on the top that says automatically manage paging file size for all devices. And over here you might see a lot of C drives or drives that are connected onto your computer. I only have one so that's why it's only showing one to me. If you have a lot of drives it might show all of the drives that are available on your computer. So go ahead and select each of the drives. I only have one, so let me just select the one that I only have. And then in the bottom, choose no paging file, and then click on set. And then this warning message is go ahead and click on yes. And then, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and select system manage size. And then click on set once again. And then go ahead and click on OK. And over here in this warning message, just go ahead and click on the X icon, click on apply, and click on OK. I didn't restart now because we're going to be doing a final restart once we've done all the settings. Now right click on your taskbar and open up tasks manager. And then open up the startup tab. Now here as you can see I got a lot of applications right here that are set to enabled and some of, some of them are set to disabled. These are the applications that will start up whenever you start up windows. So all you gotta do is select the ones that you don't want to start whenever you start up windows. Select it and click on disable in the bottom right corner of the task manager window. Just do it all of the ones that you don't want to start up whenever you start up windows. Once you've disabled the ones you don't want to start up whenever you start up windows, go ahead and just close it down. Now go ahead and click on the search bar once again and type in msconfig. Go ahead and hit enter and then go ahead and click on the boot tab and click on advanced options. Over here, select the option that says number of processors, click on the drop down menu and then choose the highest number. Once you've clicked on that, go ahead and click on OK and make sure this option that says no GUI boot has been checked. And then under timeout, if you're running an HDD or a hard disk drive, type in 5. If you're using a higher end machine or an SSD, type in the number 3. Let me just type in 5 because I'm using an HDD and then go ahead and click on apply and then click on OK. If this message shows up that says you may need to restart your computer, go ahead and click on exit without restart. Now right click on your volume button and click on sounds. Once this window is opened up, open up the playback tab and right click on the audio width that has a green tick and then click on properties. And then open up the enhancement tab and make sure you've checked the box that says disable all sound effects. And just to get any of these options are checked, make sure you check the box that says disable all sound effects. And then open up the advanced tab and click on the drop down menu that says default format and select the lowest option that says CD quality. Let me just click on apply. And over here as you can see it says the device is being used by another application. That is because OBS is right now running on my computer. And if I apply the changes, my microphone might be cut off. So I'm going to click on no for now. But if this message comes for you, just go ahead and click on yes. You can just restart your computer. Now open up your search bar once again and then type in power. Over here as you can see I got a lot of options right here. Edit power plan. Choose a power plan and other options right here. Make sure you choose any option that has this battery icon with a cord around it. Over here as you can see these two icons. You can just click on one of them. I'm going to go ahead and click on choose a power plan and you might end up in a window that looks like this. If this page doesn't show for you, make sure you click on power options from the top right here. And over here, make sure you select ultimate performance. If ultimate performance is not showing for you, just select high performance. If it is set to balance recommended or power saver, that means that your computer's performance is being reduced. If ultimate performance is not showing up, I might make a video in the future showing how to enable ultimate performance on your computer. So stay subscribed for that. Now click on change, change. Now go ahead and click on change plan settings and then click on change advanced power settings. Once this window is opened up, select hard disk right here and under turn off hard disk after, click on the blue text right here and set it to zero. Now scroll all the way to the bottom until you find processor power management. Select it and double click on it and then select the minimum processor state, double click on it and next to setting click on the 100% and set it to 100. And then select the maximum processor state, double click on it, and set this to 100 as well. If it is not set to 100, just delete it, and type in 100. Once you're done with that, click on apply, and then click on ok. And we just close this down. Alright, now that we're done with the control panel settings, now we're going to be tweaking the registry editor. Now hit Windows plus R on your keyboard and type in regedit. Hit enter and then once registry editor has opened up here as you can see this is how it looks like. Now all you gotta do is just click on the arrow next to HK local machine. Just click on the arrow and then click on the arrow next to software. Scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Microsoft. 
and click on the arrow next to it and then go all the way to the bottom until you find the word starting with the letter w over here as you can see all of these are starting with the letter w find windows and click on the arrow icon next to it over here as you can see i found windows nt just click on the arrow next to it and then select the folder that's its current version click on the arrow of that once again and scroll all the way to the bottom until you find multimedia minus right here click on the arrow once again and then select the folder that's a system profile and the right side here as you can see here it says network throttling index and system responsiveness select network throttling index and just double click on it and then once this window is opened up in the value data you might see any weird letter written right here here as you can see for me it's showing letter a just delete it by clicking on the backspace key on your keyboard and then you have to type seven f's what i mean by that is that you're going to be mashing the letter f seven times onto this text box so type in f seven times one two three four five six seven make sure it's not capital it should be simple and then go ahead and click on ok now for system responsiveness double click on that again and over here under value data hit zero and then click on ok and then double click on system profile and then under tasks double click that once again here as you can see we have the folder that says games select it now here as you can see we have gpu priority and priority and scheduling category select gpu priority just double click on it and then under value data type in eight click on ok and then double click priority and under value data type in six click on ok and then double click on scheduling category and then in the value data type in high make sure the letter h is capital go ahead and click on ok once you're done with that, just X out of there. Now that we're done with the registry editor, hit Windows plus R on your keyboard, type in the percentage sign, type in temp, and the percentage sign once again. Hit enter. And then once this window is opened up, here as you can see, we got a lot of junk right here. For you, there might be a lot, but I had already done this previously. That's why I only have a little bit right here. But because you've never done this, it might show you loads and loads of files on your computer right here let me know down in the comment section below how much file you managed to delete from here just hit ctrl a and then hit delete go ahead and click on continue right here and if you get this error message just click this box click on try again if it shows up again check this box once again and click on skip do this for all of them and just close this down hit windows plus r and then type in prefetch Hit enter, and over here, hit control A, and hit delete. Check the box once again, and click on skip. Close this down, and open up your search bar, and type in disk cleanup. Hit enter, and then once disk cleanup has opened up, check all of these boxes. Do note that all of the files that are checked right here will get deleted. Let me just go ahead and click on cleanup system files. And now once that is done, go ahead and click on OK. Over here, click on delete files. And once that's done, Open up File Explorer and then open up this PC and just right click on your C drive, click on properties and go ahead and click on the tools tab right here and click on the button that says check. Over here go ahead and click on scan drive and it will start scanning your drive for any issues and if there is any error or issues, Windows will start fixing that issues improving your hard drive's health. It might take a few minutes depending on the speed of your hard drive. Once that is done here, as you can see, we have another option to optimize and defragment drive. If you're using a hard disk drive, just go ahead and click on optimize right here. But if you are using an SSD, then please do not defragment your drive because that might ruin your SSD. Just go ahead and click on close right here. Let me just X out of this as well. Now that we're done with optimizing our operating system, let me show you some awesome softwares to juice up every bit of performance out of your system. So go ahead and click the link in the description to open up this link right here. That is Quick CPU. Now once you're in this website, scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the download button right here. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, you can just click on this one. Or an X32-bit operating system, click on this one. Let me just click on this one. And then select the download folder and just click on save. Once it's downloaded, click on the arrow and click on show in folder. Then minimize the browser and just drag the quick CPU setup 64 onto your desktop. So as you can see, we have quick CPU setup right here. Just right click on it and click on extract here. And here as you can see, we have the application that says quick CPU setup. Just double click on it and just wait for it to install. Go ahead and click on next. Accept the terms and click on next, next and then install. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click on finish. And over here as you can see quick cpu has loaded up right here so all you gotta do is that under core parking just drag this bar all the way to the right 
Same is with frequency scaling, just drag the spot to the right as well. And with turbo boost as well, just drag the slider from the left to the right. What this program does is that it allows Windows to gain full access to your CPU cores at its full capacity. Windows is usually allowed 20% or more access depending on the software. But this software unlocks that limit so every app or game uses your CPU's full potential, hence gaining better performance. Once you've tracked all the sliders to the right, go ahead and click on apply. And then go ahead and click on OK. And then you can just close it down. Now one more software I recommend is using CCleaner, which allows in deleting other hidden junk on your computer and helping in maintaining your computer's health. Now that you're done with that, you can just go ahead and click on the start menu right here, click on the power button, and click on restart. But before you do that, right click on the recycle bin option, and click on empty recycle bin, and then click on yes. And then you can just go ahead and restart your computer. Now that we're done with all of the optimization we just did to our computer, open up your search bar, type in CMD, right click, and click on run as administrator. And then once command prompt has fired up, I've put two commands in the description, one is sfc forward slash scan now and one is dism forward slash online and the rest of it is in the description. So all you gotta do is just select the first one that is sfc forward slash scan now, right click and click on copy. Back on cmd, hit ctrl v and then hit enter. And all you gotta do is just wait for it to completely scan your disk and to check if any issues are there on your hard drive. Here as you can see the command we just did earlier has been completed. Here as you can see it says that Windows Resource Protection has found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna be copy pasting the second command right here. Just select it, right click and click on copy. Back on CMD, hit Ctrl V and then hit enter. And just wait for the command to do its thing. And over here as you can see the second command has completed its thing as well. Here as you can see here it's just the reacher operation completed successfully. From here you can just X out of command prompt. And now we've completely optimized our Windows operating system for gaming. And now you can just do a final restart and enjoy gaming without any problems. And yeah guys that's the end of this video. If you find this video helpful make sure you give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.